Well, I turned the motor around on the bench just so I can do the primary on this side. I'm closer to my toolbox, so it's a little bit easier. <clears throat> but when we get into the primary... Clutch cable needs to go into the primary cover before you start pulling anything else apart. Just looking for my tools. one through bolt slash nut at the very bottom front. I don't remember, but I think this might have changed on some of the newer ones, but on the earlier Evos. There are three ways. i got to pull this one off, too, for your foot peg mount. Oh, let me block this up on something. Uh, your primary chain tensioner adjuster stud. Right now it is sitting on that, so I gotta throw a block of wood underneath there real quick. Let me pry this up. Must have had some sort of critters in here. All the bird seeds spilled on the bottom of my bench. seal in here around the shifter shaft. That's what's getting stuck and sticking a little bit. But we got the primary off. I'm going to set this on the ground, leave all the bolts in it just as is. Pop the gasket off. And there's our primary on the inside. Um, this tensioner spring is not at all hooked up proper uh, this way, so we'll have to address that. These ones are kind of goofy. Overall though, everything else in here looks proper. Hard to tell off the top of your head by just glancing at it, but that's fine. Um, and then I just want to pull this starter off. Make sure that that's actually, well, no, maybe not. That doesn't look too bad. Starter's gonna stay. Uh, you got your two bolts up here to get your starter on and off. Those look fine. Uh, vent in the rear is okay. That should be it on that side. So primary cover's off, we'll do a quick, uh, I'm gonna have to go through and re-put in that tensioner shoe um, the right way with the spring actually applying pressure. And then on the cylinders, you got studs that come up through this motor. And those specialty bolts that I was showing you are basically your head bolts. So you got studs, on aluminum studs, or steel studs that come up through the aluminum cylinder. Those bolts basically sandwich the heads down onto, um, onto the block. So your head studs, essentially, or your head bolts, just pull down on these aluminum parts. We're going to pop these heads off real quick. I do have a brand new gasket set on the way as well. Cylinders do look really nice and clean. Fresh bores on everything. Machined well. Big old chunk of some, something. Some sort of grease or slime. Um, pistons also look brand new. Uh, it's got that Teflon coating. Uh, micro slick or whatever ceramic coating on this piston skirts. The 
wrestle this front one off as best I can. Uh, pistons are new. Now we got the everything off. There's actually some markings here on the crank. Three, three, one, eight, two, six. Just ro rolling the clutch basket around. Feel what this bottom end feels like. We'll check the uh, rods here in a minute. Just want to give everything a quick visual. Make sure nothing red flag stands out. Crank and everything on this motor do look really clean on the inside. Everything's pretty clean down there. Grabbing the rod here. Don't grab it from the piston if you're checking side to side play because the pistons are free floating so you got a good amount of play on the actual wrist pin of the pistons. Grab it by the rod. Feel that for your play. Left and right is pretty normal. Up and down is really what you're looking for here. Which this one actually feels pretty good. Maybe a tiny bit, but it's an Evo. That'll be fine. The rear. So the outer rod is actually in much better shape. Let me recheck this front one. The inner, a little bit of play left and right. Not much up and down. So if anything, the crank, good enough, it'll run. Shouldn't make too much clattery noises or anything like that. I'd like it a little bit tighter if it was a brand new performance type build, but for what it is for a stocker 12, I mean, it's going to be a little bit more performance oriented than a stock 1200 or 883, but uh, nothing stands out. It's not catastrophically loose at all. Just a little bit of bearing wear up there. But we're going to ship it. Pretty much that. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit, move some stuff around, and then see if those gaskets showed up in the mail, and then we can start slapping this back together. Well, that's about as far as I can get until those gaskets get here. They should be here today, so I'm just waiting on two head gaskets, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll button up the rest of this. Overall, quick little Evo teardown, quick inspection. Go over some tricks getting these things back together, but shouldn't be too terrible. Take it easy.